All right, guys, we're back, and this is my third Amazon Fire Stick video. The last one was a review, an overall review of it, and I said I was going to try to install my own app, or in this case, I would be installing XBMC or Kodi or whatever it's called now. And let's try to get started. The first thing you'll need is Android SDK, if you remember from my unboxing, which I'll have a link to. Um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, this is actually running Android. The Fire Stick is a custom version of Android, of course. That's why I can run Android games. So you'll need the SDK. The uh, This is a default one. We don't want this. It contains programs uh, for making programs for it. So we're not going to be doing any programming. So we just need the SDK. If you already have this installed, then just you'll do you skip this part. All we're going to be doing is using ADB. If you don't have it installed, click that arrow here. It says get the S oh, sorry. Uh, view all downloads and sizes and you'll want the bundle for Windows I'm gonna assume you're all using 64-bit Windows if you just go ahead and get the 64-bit if it says like you cannot run 64-bit applications in 32-bit mode they'll need this one but chances are you all use this one so just go ahead and click it I want to open it in a new window so I'm gonna show you what it would say and it, um, we'll just automatically start the download it may ask you if you want to um, whatever like agree to terms of services so say yes but you should just be able to cl uh, click this and download the link from there all right once you have it downloaded you'll see files like this let me make sure I'm still not downloading it yeah okay it's closed all right you'll see this inside once it finishes loading you just put this anywhere I'm just gonna click extract all files and make sure I have show extracted files when complete alright while this is going you can go ahead and get your next program we'll need which is the Amazon Fire TV utility app I'll have a link to this below as well just go ahead and click click here and then click skip add and I'll show you where it takes you so I'm gonna go ahead and click here And then we'd normally and we gotta wait a little bit. And over here you'd have to say skip ad after waiting some time. Skip ad. And then it should automatically start downloading. If not, click the link. I already have it downloaded, so I'm just gonna close the window. Here is a download. <coughs> It'll take you to a media fire link, but just use the ad. Uh, link I gave you anyway so you can at least support them all right and once we have those two downloaded we're ready to move on you'll want to wait for it to actually finish extracting wow that's slow <coughs> well while this is going it'll be a good idea for us to look up our IP address of our our um, Amazon Fire Stick because we'll need that for a later step. So go ahead and open up your fire or turn on your Fire Stick and go to the settings menu. There's a delay on my preview window, so I may look like I'm stuttering a little bit with the scrolling. Scrolling may look a little bit stuttery, whatever. And we're going to go to set it system. Sorry, under settings is system. This thing is still copied. There's another thing we have to do. We have to go to system and then developer options should be in here. Developer options. And we have to turn ADB debugging on. And we also have to turn on apps from unknown sources. Also on. And we say OK. Now we're going to go back to about and then network. Just keep scrolling down. It should be in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's up here. Okay. And we should be just about done extracting the files. Take a look. 60 seconds. Good. All right. My IP address is okay. And under network, you can see your IP address. Mine is 192.168.1.6. So I'm going to write that down so I don't have to worry about remembering it. All right. Let's 
go back to our extracting, 30 seconds left. And it should pop up with the window when we're ready. In the meantime, let's go ahead and open command prompt. Press, win hold down Windows key and press R to bring up this box. And type in CMD. Oh, skip, I guess. CMD and press OK. Now we have our extracted folder. My microphone turned a little bit to the left. And with our extracted folder, let's minimize this, open it up. And we'll want to go to SDK, Platform Tools, and in here should be adb.exe. Yes, it is. So we just drag and drop this. And the first thing we're going to want to do is kill the current server, just in case you already have one running. So we're going to do k-i-l-l-s-e-r-v-e-r, -L -L -E boom, done. All right, next thing we're going to do, drag and drop it again. And we're going to do start server. A dash my mistake all right now that our server is running we're going to connect to our Amazon Fire Stick so do ADB C O N N E C T for connect and then you'll want the IP address in my case it is 192.168.1.0 yours will be different. Now we are connected. Now we're going to do ADB INSTALL and you'll want to have the XBMC uh, file downloaded. So I'll have a link in the description to where you can download that. Uh, I have it, once you have it downloaded it won't need to be extracted or anything. You'll have to find it. Here's mine in my downloads folder. <coughs> so just drag and drop that into the command line after ADB install and hit enter and we just gotta wait for it to push and install it to the device it may take a little while because it's a pretty big file it is 56 megabytes to upgrade it later on, all you'd have to do is the same command except minus R in between installing the file name, and then you'll be able to actually tell it to reinstall the application, and that will let you update to a later version of XBMC. Since this doesn't have the um, what's it called? Since this doesn't have the store on it, you wouldn't be able to you know go ahead and download updates. It only has the Amazon store, and I doubt XBMC is going to make it to the Amazon store. All right, that took quite a few minutes, but I'm actually getting to the final stages. It has the package name listed here and how many kilobytes per second the transfer was. So that means it's fine. it was completely transferred. Now it's actually in doing the installation. So it should only take a little bit longer. And there we go, success, we're done. Let's try to open it in here. Let's see if we can make this full screen. Oh, that was a little bit laggy. All right, once we're in settings, We'll be able to go through the long process of actually launching our application using the default method. Go to Applications and then Manage All Installed Applications. And then you can scroll down until you find XBMC. This may change in future versions, so you'll just have to search through the different settings if this doesn't work for you. XBMC. Let's go ahead and launch the application. It's a long process, but hey, look, it works. So, and here we go. I can actually use the remote to scroll through the menus. It just updated an add-on, so that means we actually have network connection. 
So very, very cool. I'll definitely be using this option in the future to run content from my media server. So to exit, we should just be able to press the back button maybe since we're in the main menu. Or I guess we'll just press home. Yep, home takes us out. It may have just minimized it so battery problem won't be a battery issue wouldn't be a problem. Blech. We shouldn't have a problem with battery because it doesn't use battery, so if it can run in the background, that's fine. Uh, there is a faster way to launch this. You can actually make it like a normal application. All right, and for this last part, I'm going to try to show you how to make it launch a little bit faster. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, remember this other program we downloaded, the FTV thing? Uh, you'll want to have it extracted, and we're going to run another uh, ADB command. So bring that back up. And you go to ADB and then space I N S T A L L space. And then the here we'll want apps llama. And you go ahead and press enter. Give it a little while to install, then we're good. All right, and now we'll go back over to this thing, and we'll go ahead and set it up. All right, I'm switching over to full monitor mode so I can actually do it without lag. Go back to manage installed applications. Go down to Llama. and launch application. Then we'll say boring stuff, okay, okie dokie, and we'll make, want to make a new, uh, we got more of these now. We'll make a new event, go down to the, press down, it'll take you to the thing. Basically you just want to keep going down until you get to the plus. Click plus, and then we'll want to do add action. And run application. Run application. And we'll want to find XBMC boom and then we will want to add condition active application Choose an app, and basically this is we now we pick the app that we want to replace with XBMC. This is actually a um, little helpful hint I found on the forums by a guy named Bathangle. Bathangle, I guess it was linked on the um, tutorial I'm using, so I'm just showing you how to do that too. So if you're watching this for some reason, thanks Bathangle on the Cody slash XBMC forums. Now you want to do something you're probably never going to use. Um, it will probably want to be an app you actually have a link for. So, let's see where it is. They suggested Flickster, but I don't actually think we have that installed at the moment. So, for this, you'll want to have something you actually have installed. For this example, I'm just going to use YouTube. I can always go back and change it later. So, press OK. And now we should be ready to go. Let's press back and see if it's saved. Press home. Let me check my preview window. And let's go to apps. And now we're going to go to YouTube. Again, I probably should have just downloaded one of these things I'm never going to use, like iHeartRadio, just so I could overwrite it, but we're using YouTube. So now let's launch YouTube. And it launches XBMC instead. So that worked out pretty great. 
All right, and that's how you can super easily load it. I think there's probably a way you can overwrite the picture of XBMC, but I didn't see any uh, instructions on that, so we'll figure that out later. But yeah, I mean, that's at least should get you started. Now you can launch it super easily without having to go through all the steps I showed before. All right, uh, thanks for watching. This is the actual end of the video, and have a great day. Bye.